Okay, finally we're going to look at C6H6 benzene. We want to work out the Lewis structure first. Place the atoms. This time it's in a circle. And here it might be a good idea to count the electrons six times four for carbon plus six times one for each hydrogen. So twenty this is gonna be thirty electrons. Try to put them in two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. And then there's gonna be um, six more. You can make double bonds. First of all, you could start with one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll give you 30. And then you just look to see about each carbon. Okay, does it have uh, an octet? You have two, four, six, seven. And so the answer is no. And then we'd want to bring the electron into the CC single bond region and do that three two more times to end up with the Lewis structure with alternating single and double bonds. All right, now it looks like the Vesper structure already is kind of hard to put these hydrogens in at right angles, but the focus with the Lewis structure is just to figure out how many bonds there are and what type. Next, we want to um, work out the Vesper structure. So it pretty much looks like that, but we'll put it down on the next page. and you can see what angle it's going to be. These are 120 degree angles. All right, so you got 120 all the way around for each carbon. And so 120 degrees tells us that it's going to be sp2 hybrids and that there's going to be three of them, three sp2 hybrids. All right, so then we can redraw this, including the sp2 hybridization. So each carbon has three sp2 hybrids. And then the hydrogens are the s orbitals, spherical, overlapping. Okay, so then you want to label each hybrid as, let's pick another color here, sp2. Keep going. Each one is sp2. And then label each hydrogen as s. You can write s or h in there, doesn't matter. I'm going to know what you mean by that. So then uh, finally, let's see if there's another color here. Um, I don't know, yellow, I guess. 
you want to label sigma, 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 like that. So this is going to be the sigma framework all the way around. And we'll call this the sigma framework. Next we want to do the pi framework and we can go back to this sigma framework as just lines. Okay, and then each carbon has an unhybridized p electron. We're going to look at the sideways overlap. To make the three bonds and go back and label the sigmas. So this is sigma. Probably don't have to put in the sigma if you've already done all that work on the other diagram. but I put it in anyway. All right, so that would be the pi framework. And that's it.